local group right here in our hometown that is focusing on helping people who have dyslexia. Shane, you, you said it was three years ago, eight years old. I got misdiagnosed at first, yeah. and so kids used to make fun of me in class, and that made me feel stupid. Me and my parents, we walked into Harbor Chase, which mm -hmm. is an assisted living facility, and we asked if we could read to some of the ladies for a few minutes, and it was great. People with dyslexia are smart, even though you might struggle now, it's still a gift that uh, might help you later on in life. So Michael, what do you feel like people do not understand about dyslexia? The confidence to be able to just read, go online and, and check out Let's Get Booking. I think you can learn a lot from dyslexia. I did. I've learned more about it from him than I ever knew about it you know, prior to that. Tell me a little bit about the application process that's underway right now. What do, what do we know about yeah, that Yeah, we're so accepting far, the applications now through November 4th. Go to philanthropytank.org. You can get more information. That's how he got his start, and then he's taken it further, and it's amazing to watch how him and his partner, Nestor, have done to be able to educate people, teachers, and parents just how to deal with dyslexia.